Well, no one was hurt in this explosion, as we said. It was felt by many who were around the area at the time it happened. Well, let's go live now to Armand Rahman, who has reaction from just some of those who were shaken by this explosion. Armand? Yeah, that's right, guys. Imagine sitting at home or outside walking your dog when you feel the ground literally shake beneath your feet and you have no idea where that came from. That's what residents in and around Oregon had to deal with this morning. Jess Bauer captured the shockwaves on her ring camera video, shaking her doorstep and causing some damage. First thought, and I was texting a friend, was that there was an explosion, but that seems so unrealistic for Oregon. And so I thought maybe a tree fell down or a car hit the house. And others working nearby say it sounded like a large piece of furniture falling over, but everyone says no matter what they heard, they sure felt that blast. And we'll hear more from other neighbors and their reaction to today's explosion later on tonight at 10. For now, in Oregon, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Armand Tahil, thank you. Our team has been on scene all day gathering stories from those who live right next door when that, where that explosion happened. Reporters Braden Ross and Nicole Herzog spoke with one man who caught the aftermath on camera. Uh, house exploded. We just put a fire out in your uh, Thanks. here. Thanks. Sam Bronchetti says he's used to a quiet neighborhood, but this morning that usual calm was rattled. I had no idea what was going on, um, and so I opened up the shades out to my back and I saw debris falling. I mean, it almost looked like snow. An explosion right across the street from Bronchetti's house. Burning debris had set his bushes on fire. His neighbors managed to put it out. Kind of made my way to the front door. Saw a bunch of smoke, saw some people up outside and like, what's going on? They said, well, your bush is caught on fire and we just put it out with a shovel. Police evacuated neighbors to a church down the road. Bronchetti was able to head to a friend's house nearby. He still isn't sure what he'll find when he's able to return. I still don't know what damage there is to her house. I know there was some damage on the front porch. Reporting in Oregon for News 3 Now, I'm Braden Ross. And the best way to get up to the minute information about this explosion is by downloading our News 3 Now app. You can find the entire press conference plus more of our drone footage streaming on the app right now. We'll be pushing out any updates to the story as we get them.